How's it going guys, this is the RPG Pro, and welcome back to another video. This is going to be a tutorial on how to set up um, a padlock with a door puzzle. Now, this is a scene on my game that I made, but instead it's a safe, but it can be still worked with this. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to create is um, a note on the floor that will uh, show us the code. Um, so we're going to make a new event, uh, double click on the graphic, and if we scroll down, uh, if we go to other three, it will, um, you can get a little letter, that's what I used, well that's what I'm going to use, and um, I'm going to get some text and we're going to say there is a note on the floor. Um, and then I obtained a note. Okay. Now we're gonna uh, leave that for a minute because we need to make a new item called the note. There should be an icon for a note. Yeah, we'll just use that. Right there. And we will um, put the code in the description so it saves us time making a picture and everything. So we're going to put, um, there is a number on it, it says nine, uh, nine, four, two, one. Okay, um, and we're from the menu, don't consume it, otherwise if you like click on it, it will never come back, um, normal item, non. And there we go. So, if we go back to it. I obtained a note. Change the items of the note to 1. Increase it by 1. And then, to finish off, self switch A is on. Make a new event page. Self switch A is on. So that you can only pick it up once. Okay, so uh, now we've got the note. We're going to set up a door to go to the dungeon, but it will be locked. So, we're going to do a quick event creation of a door. Um, use that and double click on here to set it to the second room um, but this uh, this will just take you straight to the dungeon but we need it to make it locked so we're going to copy the event page and we're going to paste it and then we're going to um, just delete all this off now this is where, where we're going to set up the code um, we're going to say the door is locked. Okay. Now I'm going to make another text saying it is locked with a padlock or something like that. Then this is where we're going to. Um, the, if you go to uh, tab one in the message box it will say input number now if we set the digits to four and then it comes up with a variable I'm gonna name this variable code okay so input number code with four digits that's what it's, that's why it's on the note um, this won't do anything if you just put this and then if you just do that nothing will happen it's just basically you're just inputting a number okay this is why we. This is why we need to make a conditional branch. Um, we're going to make a conditional branch variable code. Okay, is equal to constant, and then that code. Now we're going to have a look at what that code is again. Um, Nine four two one. So, if code equals nine four two one, we're going to say. The door is unlocked. Um, but if you type it in wrong, and say nothing happened, and we're gonna a little bit of waiting time for that, like a second, um, nothing happened. So then you have to put it in again. But if that nine four two one, the door is unlocked. Uh, self switch A is on. 
and then make that cell switch A's on to go through it. And that's pretty much it, really. I know it's pretty simple, but that's it. So let's try this out. So here's the note right here. If we go up to the door, the door is locked. A is locked with a padlock. Now we've got the code right here, which we'll type. We'll just say nothing happened. But if we go up to the note, there's a note on the floor. I obtained a note. Go to the note. There's a number on it. It says nine four two one. Now if we type it in. the door is unlocked and then you can go through it now um, if we looked back on that when we typed in the code but it didn't work and they went back to it and it still said that code that we already typed in now if you don't want that then you can easily you can just do this if you go to the nothing happened you can set the variable code set to zero and if we do this and then we go back to it this time that nothing happened go back to it it's back to zero so well, the door is unlocked and there we go and that is how you set up a padlock if you'd like to see more tutorials or you want help, feel free to comment on the video and tell me what you need help with. If you'd like to catch up on these tutorials, feel free to subscribe as they will help the channel grow. And I'll see you guys on the next tutorial.